Adelaide and welcome to Holiday Haven Huskisson. So this is the second time that we've been here, we are here last year and it is nothing on what it normally looks like. So we've had a lot of rain and floods throughout the last couple of months and it's just made the ocean really brown, really dirty from all the runoff. So unfortunately all the footage in here is going to look a little bit cloudy, overcast and really brown. I will insert now what it used to look like when I was here last time. of this caravan park it's going to be much the same as last time although they have added some more ensuite sites here so this caravan park has a lot of cabins in terms of powered campsites i reckon the street that i'm on it's fully level so anywhere from 53 to 62 they include powered and ensuite sites that would be my pick if you're staying here and also the new ensuite sites 85 to 88 they're really good they overlook the pool here so there is a pool here there's a tennis court camp kitchen and a few barbecue areas which is really good outside of the park there is a lot of tables barbecue areas and big grassy sites between the caravan park and the ocean so awesome if you've got a group sort of set up there's a really nice walk up along the beach into the township itself in there you've got a pub, Husky Pub, I recommend going there, it's a good feed and they've got a DJ and band sometimes on Friday, Saturday night and it overlooks the canal there and the ocean so highly recommend that. In terms of food make sure you check out the fish and chip shop, it's amazing there, haven't had a bad feed there yet. The township itself does have everything you sort of want to need but if you're after some more big ticket items, um, South Nara is only a 20 minute drive, it's got your Bunnings, BCF, Kmart, all of those sort of things so it's not too inconvenient. If you're coming here I highly recommend you go down and check out Buderee National Park. We went down there twice actually and checked it out. It's $13 for a visitor's pass and that's valid for three days. Make sure you go and have a swim at Murray's Beach. It is absolutely stunning. So like I said, we've had a lot of rain and the ocean is brown and muddy, but out there it's really close to the open ocean, so it wasn't too bad. I'd love to see that in normal conditions. It would be absolutely stunning. We also checked out Green Patch, which is a awesome little beach there and it does have camping so if you haven't got any animals I highly recommend going down there and camping from memory 55 was a really good site and it also backs on to the little river running through there so it's got beautiful nature sounds it is just an awesome little spot if you don't have any pets so another place to go and check out is honeymoon bay and point perpendicular lighthouse it's a 50 minute drive here from the caravan park in Huskisson unfortunately the road was closed due to all of the storm and and flood water damage so super bummed about that but yeah any other time go and check that out I'll definitely have to come back because it's on my to-do list so we're here for a total of two and a half weeks down the south coast next up is Turos Head and then we head to Brulee and then Shell Harbour so looking forward to showing you around and let's check out the south coast <music> 